Well, during the last two years, the Urban County Council has made major decisions on our police protection, zoning laws, and garbage collection, some of those things that hit closest to home. Next Tuesday, Fayette County's 12 district seats are up for re-election. And all this week, Mike Taylor will introduce you to your choices in those races. Tonight, a look at districts one and two. Issues in the inner city first district seem to have been overshadowed by court appearances. Current council member Edgar Wallace, who has made most of those appearances, says that's probably a fair assessment. The kinds of things that we have addressed, uh, unemployment problems, housing problems, uh, jobs problems, uh, and street resurfacing, housing rehabilitation, and those kinds of things. And we've done, made great efforts and great strides in that area. Wallace, who was found not guilty of assault charges before the primary, has since lost his real estate license over a deal gone sour and currently faces wanton endangerment charges over a confrontation with guns, but he's confident he'll be cleared. The key to the election, however, is another court case. Opponent Michael Rankins will still appear on the ballot, but under a Fayette Circuit Court ruling, he will not be eligible to serve if he wins because he did not live in the district long enough. Rankins elected not to appeal. Second District Councilman John Wigginton wanted to meet here at the future site of the Northside Library, something new for his district and something he's proud of. But his campaign has focused mostly on small and minority business and unemployment. I think that I do have the experience and I've demonstrated uh, that I can get the job done. That's what they want, to see that the inner city area is developed and is, has the same opportunities and benefits that the other parts of the city has. But Charles Jones, a retired school teacher, believes that leadership and organization are what Wigginton has not provided in his first two terms. She says help is needed in the inner city district in the areas of housing, unemployment, crime prevention, economic development, and mass transit. I can sit down and organize where we haven't had organization before, bring people together, talk out problems, try to reach some sorts of solutions that's going to be best for everybody. Tomorrow night, a look at the 4th District race, which has no incumbent on the ballot, and the 5th District race, which has also been through court. I'm Mike Taylor, 18 Action News.